on behalf of the whole community, uh, globally, I would like to appreciate your attendance, and I want to call out Ken Noir for doing such an amazing job with all his work. The purpose of Sikh art is different than that of traditional religious art. For Sikhs, God has no shape, no color, no form. And a connection to God is not found through art. You see, art is an exercise of the imagination. Your connection to God is not. Your connection to God must be real. These paintings here today take us to a place that connects us to our past. In the same way, there is an internal connection that takes us to God. This internal connection is called Shabbat Guru. This Shabbat Guru has no shape, no color, no form, and it is heard by the mind. As you go through the gallery today, you will explore the rich history of Sikhi. And you should ask yourself, what was the source of their strength? What was the source of their bravery? What was the source of their love for God? You should know it was the Shabbat Guru. This Shabbat Guru lives in all people, and we must learn to cultivate it within ourselves. It was the internal, invisible, and constant sound, that primal sound of Shabbat Guru that inspired the writing of the Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib. And because Siddhi Guru Granth Sahib is meant for all of humanity, it means Sikh history is meant all for humanity. This gallery today provides the forum to share that history and to share that message. And we hope that this gallery will inspire people not to worship paintings, not to worship images, but to make them think about the sacrifices people had to make just so they could preach truth. So I want to thank the Sangat for putting it all together. I want to thank the fellow trustees and all the Sangat for all their hard work. By the way, no one took any money for this. It was all free. From the painter to all the people who put in the thousands of hours that it took to put the gallery together. When you give, it's one thing. When you share, it's another. Seek share. They don't give. God is the giver. Our job is to be the sharers. So, why Guruji ka khalsa, why Guruji ki fadeh. been very fascinated with uh, art and I've always been very fascinated with history. I'm very interested in things that are bigger than like personal stories. So at this exhibition what we're going to be presenting is sort of pretty much my full catalog of work that I worked over in 10 years, you know, in that sort of 10 year journey as an artist focusing only on sick history. And also we've got like 15 new paintings that have been developed only for this project. So it's a lot of work that no one's ever seen before. The exhibition is so complete. When I do exhibitions in other areas, it's very much just sort of the art alone and, you know, maybe a little bit of description. But here, what's been achieved is what I set out to do and how I conceive my art. I don't really see one piece and then another piece. I see a timeline. Some of the stuff, 
that's been created alongside my art that as I've been walking through and reading it is sort of been even eye-opening for me. And I feel my part is just to accompany that bigger picture. What you see here is a combination of the wording matching the description of what Grunanik experienced when he met them. In the beginning when they met Grunanik Devji, the story is told through Gurbani that they just simply referred to him as a boy. And the Siddhas had uh, a number of miraculous powers that they had. And they were, they just thought they were the top of the top. Uh, they offered up a challenge to him. They said, you see if you can find us and we'll see if we can find you. So their leader and their teacher actually had converted themselves into an insect. They managed to go ahead and use their miraculous powers to change their form. Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, oh, maybe I should just kill this little bug. And they're like, no, 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 that's our teacher, right? And so Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, next, he goes, okay, you see if you can find me. Guru Nanak Dev Ji merged his five elements into God, where it says, Nun Kaar, Kaar, Smave, Akukala, Sach, Takave. He goes, he was able to merge his full body into Waiguru, and the Siddha said, we give up, we couldn't find you. No matter where you where you went, we could not find you. And Guru Nanak Dev Ji said, God is not found in Riddhi Siddhis, but God is truth, and you have to experience that truth. They ask, who is your Guru? And Guru Nanak Dev Ji so eloquently says, Shabad Guru Surt Tunchela, which means, I am the follower of the Shabad Guru. The Shabad Guru comes from Waiguru's voice, and Guru Nanak Dev Ji simply is a servant of that voice. And this is a profound statement to the Siddhas. They thought Nam was found through the miraculous powers that they had. They thought that was the Nam, but they didn't understand how to actually get to the Nam or merge in the Nam. And um, Gurbani says, Guru Nanak that changed that for them, explaining to them how to merge into the Nam and get to the truth. When you sort of have the image, you also combine it with Gurbani and then you have the history. It's like, it's the three perfect pieces that really give someone a really complete picture of that moment. Our history is connected to our spirituality. And I think you're also gonna see it in sort of the love and care that's been put into this environment. This is like a really inspirational environment that I think, I don't, I don't think it's possible for a person to come here and walk away without anything. I think this is just going to like sort of put a seed that's in people's hearts. And that's, and I think it's from all the effort and all of the sort of the love that's gone into this. It puts a smile to my face walking into a, a Guru Ghar and seeing something which is so professional that's actually put a museum or a gallery onto international standard. What was the, the, the thought process in actually having a gallery of such sort in there? What was the need for it? This is kind of the visionary path that I think this Gurdwara takes, is quality comes first. We see things in the Western world with such a good quality. And, you know, I'd like to think as a, a Sikh and my fellow Sikhs that we can do it the best. And they really had a vision to go ahead and make a platform where education, history, and understanding of Gurbani would come together. This gallery has is, is always been sort of my dream, but I think the vision really belongs to like the volunteers here at Guru Mani Granth Gurudwara for like actually making it happen. I, when I walked in here, I have to say, like I got to see it last night for the first time, and I was just blown away. I, I just, I think our communities long deserve like, like a place like this, <laughs> that really is at a, at a level that, you know, is deserving of the heritage.
congratulate the Guru Manyo Grant, Gurdwara and everybody involved in this incredible inspirational exhibition. Uh, to have the work of such a prominent artist as Kanbar Singh, it's superb for Slough to be the host for this permanent exhibition. I think it will inspire hundreds of artists in, and thousands of artists in the future as well. Well, I expect the exhibition to be like a, just a usual exhibition we get in the communities and uh, was invited by Kenwar and his team here. And to be honest, what I saw was just like, <clears throat> I'm blown out of the water with it, it's just amazing. The different angles on the paintings, the pictures, and the write-ups. I've walked in here and I have no words. Um, each, each image that I've seen, each portrait that I've seen, each painting, has really, really touched my soul. Uh, I, I could actually stand here crying because it's each one tells a story and it tells it with so much depth, yet each image, whilst it's got the depth, it also has so much peace. So this is a painting of Baba Jajara Singh at the Battle of Chamkor. Now as the story goes, uh, Having witnessed his brother attain Shahidi, he asked Guru Gobind Singh Ji, his father, if he too could go. Guru Ji blessed him and gave him permission to go out and fight. And uh, so this depicts that moment where he just leaps off the battlements into uh, the, the opposing army. And then it all came together when I drew Baba Jujar Singh's face. And I, the whole painting is it's frankly really violent, but one of the key things is uh, Baba Jajar Singh's face. Amidst all this violence, all this anger, there is just a moment of absolute peace. And that's what I wanted to convey, that he is projecting Waigu from within. It captures the essence, and that I haven't seen in an exhibition for a very long time and I've never seen it in our own exhibitions before. I thought it was phenomenal, I thought it was inspiring, I thought it was um, incredibly important, particularly it's the first exhibition in the UK on Sikh art. I thought it was beautiful and as a non-Sikh who didn't know that much about the history, um, I felt that was a really easy digestible way of telling the story. My hope with this gallery in creating this permanent space is that if someone walks in from the community, someone who's not even a Sikh, who knows nothing about Sikhism, I hope that person walks out here with probably more knowledge than like an average Sikh that you might just pull out of a crowd. I think this art sends a message that can take an audience who could otherwise maybe not be interested in Sikhi and give them a chance to connect in a different way. Now I feel like I know how it connects together because it's through art, through culture, through history that we actually gain a greater insight into us as individuals. Through this, we will be able to teach so many generations and that's the way we can keep our culture going. So I really thank everyone. This Gurdwara, Guru, Guru, Guru Manjim Grant, Gurdwara Sahib in Sla has taken the lead to say, we welcome thought, this is who we are. Brilliant, well done to all. Thank you to this Gurdwara. So I thought all, overall, I thought it was an incredible exhibition. I think everybody should come and see it. And I really hope everybody from around all corners of the world will come and see this. You want to come to this exhibit to see sick art presented in a way that has never been presented before and to also see the accompanying history and, and the message through Gurbani that's never been presented in the same way as well. See like a complete picture. Um, not my pictures, but just a bigger picture. Uh, sort of a complete message. Our primary objective is to share it for generations. This is not something that we plan to charge money for. This is not something that we expect to profit from. Why we have done this is to share our rich history so that people are motivated to follow Sikhi, they're inspired to learn Sikhi, and they're in inspired to live Sikhi according to Sikhi Grandson.